Requirements Analysis Using Baselines A baseline is a snapshot in time of a set of work items. This baseline can then be used for comparison to other baselines or to the current state in TFS or VSTS. It provides a historical point of view which can then be analyzed and scope can be managed. In this training module, we will create a baseline from the backlog view, compare baseline to current state in TFS, compare a baseline to another baseline, look at the details therein, look at doing rollbacks, both at an individual work item level, which is in the baseline, or at the complete baseline set. We'll also look at generating different reports, also generating smart reports from the baseline, which will show you information how it was when the baseline was created. The baseline can be created from multiple places, including from within queries. We will also take a look at creating baselines at a previous date. So you can backdate your baseline and even choose specific revisions of work items that you want to include in a baseline. We'll look at how to create a baseline from a baseline or create a review from a baseline. Here is our backlog view. Now in the backlog view, you could select multiple work items and then invoke create baseline, at which point you have to give it a name. So call it release five. You click on create and this will create the baseline and open up the baseline for you. This baseline has now been created. In this particular baseline, different work items with different revision numbers have been tagged or been included. As time goes by and things change, this baseline will still show you the same exact information. If you want to see the details of a work item in revision seven of this baseline, you simply click on compare and it will open up the work item and show you what revision seven looks like, or you can choose any other revision and see what information look like at, a, at another revision level. You may also compare two different revisions and see what changed in a red line mode. From the compare window, you can also roll back. When you roll back, it would ask you which revision number do you want to roll back to. So the default would be the revision that's in the back uh, in the baseline, but you can choose any other. I have several baselines here. Let's open up release two baseline. We can roll back all the work items in the baseline as well. And when you do that rollback, you can choose if you want to roll back all the fields or just the title and the rich text fields. From the baseline, you can generate a smart report. And this report would render the information as information was in the work items when the baseline was established. You can save that to Word or PDF. So this is a backdated report. If you want to compare a baseline, you click on compare baseline. By default, it compares it to the current version of work items in TFS or VSTS. If I select compare now, this will show me the comparison between release two, re release two uh, baseline work item revision and the current state revision of the work item.
I may also choose to compare a baseline to another baseline and see what's changed, what hasn't changed, what's been added or removed. And from here, you can generate a difference report in multiple formats with different levels of granularity. This is the summary report. You can do a detailed report. And even in detail, there's another third level of detail that you can enable. When you create baselines, where you can do it from the backlog or the query view, but what you can also do is you can create a baseline from within the baseline module. And that gives you a couple of key capabilities. So let's go create release five baseline in which I'll select my features. Add more work items to the same baseline. In this case, I will add my user stories to it. So now I have all of these work items in my baseline. When you create baseline from here, you can add work items based on multiple queries uh, by clicking on add work items multiple times, but before you click the save button. But what you can also do is you can do an as of date. So if you click on this, you can choose a date on which the baseline would be backdated to. That is to say, the revision of the work item that is included in the baseline would be as of the date you have selected here. Alternatively, you may also select a work item and choose a particular revision of that work item that you want to include in your baseline. And in so doing, um, you can establish um, you can establish a baseline. Okay, so this allowed you to backdate your baseline. In the baseline module, we have looked at how we can create baselines, compare them, backdate it, generate reports, and uh, We'll, we've also looked at how you can do rollbacks from a baseline. So baseline is a very useful feature. Uh, it gives your system memory so that you can go back as how things were at a point in time, analyze it, or simply roll back to how things were then. Thank you folks very much, and have a wonderful day.